It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management. And stock markets across the globe threw a tariff tantrum after President Trump posted a tweet that the administration would be imposing 10% tariffs on $300 billion of Chinese products in September. President Trump's mid-session tweet came the day after the Federal Reserve delivered a 25 basis point cut, as expected, but was described by Fed Chairman Jerome Powell as a mid-cycle adjustment, causing many investors to worry that the Fed won't cut rates further. Nonetheless, the markets are pricing in a 50-50 probability of an additional 25 basis point cut at the Fed meeting in September. Now, the yield on the benchmark 10-year Treasury bond which helps set borrowing costs on everything from mortgages to corporate debt, fell below 1.9%, its lowest level since 2016. In spite of historically low interest rates, fear the impact a trade war would have on an already slowing global economy caused investors to sell risk assets and pour money into the bond market. Even before this week, investors had pulled $152 billion out of the stock market, even as stocks reached all-time record highs. Second quarter earnings exceeded expectation, and the economy continues to add jobs with 164,000 new jobs created this week, keeping the unemployment rate at a 50-year low. It's no wonder that the Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, announced this week that you should stay bullish, claiming the place to be cautious is with the bond market, where they see euphoria on the part of investors. They see no euphoria when it comes to the stock market. Fund managers are underweighted. Retail clients are selling. Stock buybacks are on course for a record in 2019. The price of money continues to fall, and the U.S. consumer is doing just fine. Thank you very much. And the Economic Cycle Research Institute's closely watched leading indicator has inflected higher, Bank of America Merrill Lynch argues. Now, who am I to argue with my former employer? If they say it's time to be bullish, I must agree. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a portfolio that's appropriate to my goals, to my dreams, to my risk tolerance? Why sit there and wonder when you could know? Simply give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692.